In Germany, soaring rates of new coronavirus infections are once again pushing medical services to the brink. In Munich, one of the city's largest hospitals says it currently has nine COVID patients in intensive care, all of whom are unvaccinated. It's a disaster. We have to say the number of patients is up significantly. If we look at the cases and infections in the last two weeks, we see an increase of 30 to 50,000, which is also reflected here in the number of occupants. In Munich, the number of patients has doubled in this period. Euronews reporter Kate Brady sent this update from Berlin. Caretaker Chancellor Angela Merkel warned over the weekend that Germany faces some difficult weeks ahead, urging those who are yet to be vaccinated to get their shots against COVID-19. And it's the stall in the, uh, in the uptake of the vaccination that's really been attributed to the string of new highs in the number of new daily cases here in Germany. At the moment, less than 70% of the population is fully vaccinated. And as the number of cases continues to rise, the number of available beds on intensive care care units is decreasing, with some states now reaching critical. In response, some of Germany's 16 states have already taken measures into their own hands by implementing the so-called 2G rule, which means that people must show proof of either vaccination or that they've recently recovered from COVID to enter certain places, including hairdressers, gyms, restaurants and cinemas. And that's exactly the rule that's kicking in here on Monday today in the city-state of Berlin. But it won't be until Thursday this week that the state premiers of Germany's 16 states will meet with Angela Merkel to discuss a more unified response, which was far from their strong suit in the first three waves of the pandemic. But unified or not, it certainly seems that tighter measures are on the way. Kate Brady, Euronews, Berlin.